once components have been tested individually, these are then integrated together and tested. This is called as integration testing. In this form of testing software components, hardware components, or both together, are combined and tested to evaluate interactions between them. This is mainly done by testers with formal defect management mechanisms. At each stage of integration, the testers concentrate solely on the integration itself. For example, if they are integrating component A and B, they are interested in testing the communication between A and B and not the functionality of the individual modules as that would already have been done in component testing. Both functional and structural approaches may be used to conduct integration testing. Integration testing can be performed in a variety of ways, but we will limit our discussion to three common strategies. Top down, bottom up, and big bang approach. The top down approach to integration testing requires the highest level modules to be tested and integrated first, and data flow to be tested early in the process and it tends to minimize the needs for drivers. However, the need for stubs complicates test management and low-level utilities are tested relatively late in the development cycle. Another disadvantage of top-down integration testing is its poor support for early release of limited functionality. The bottom-up approach requires the lowest level units to be tested and integrated first. These units are frequently referred to as utility models. By using this approach, utility modules are tested early in the development process and the need for stubs is minimized. The downside, however, is that the need for drivers complicates test management and high-level logic and data flow are tested late. Like the top-down approach, the bottom-up approach also provides poor support for early release of limited functionality. The third approach, Big Bang, sometimes referred to as the umbrella approach, requires testing along functional data and control flow paths. First, the inputs for functions are integrated in the bottom-up pattern discussed above. The outputs for each function are then integrated in the top-down manner. The primary advantage of this approach is the degree of support for early release of limited functionality. It also helps minimize the need for stubs and drivers.